So, Neil, we are here in your house, the Hayden Planetarium. Yes. This astral event has got to be like your Super Bowl. Well, a little bit, yeah, because it does all of its own advertising. <laughs> right? The universe is about to talk to us. That's right. With a total solar eclipse. Yeah. So when we designed the Rose Center for Earth and Space, uh -huh. there's a big sphere, right? And there's a huge plaza here, the Arthur Ross Terrace. And we said, why don't we have the plaza have a relationship to the sphere? And so what we decided was, let's turn the plaza into an eclipse shadow. Right. Okay. So right now we are in the darkened part of the shadow, which we uh -huh. call the umbra. The umbra. 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 And it's, 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 a, it's more familiar than you might think. Umbra means shadow in Latin. And another word from that word is umbrella. 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 All right. Umbrella. So the sphere illuminated from far on the other side casts a shadow mm -hmm. that converges down to a point. Right. And we are in the darkened granite uh -huh. representing the umbra. Right. Now, the partial phases, uh -huh. when the moon is not completely blocked the sun, but it's still blocking some of it, right. you're in a little bit of a shadow, but not a complete shadow. Yeah. That's called the penumbra. We represent that here, too. That's the different color granite. Uh -huh. It's like a gray. This is dark. Right. This sort of middle gray coming yes. off on each side here. That's the partial shadow. Right. The partial eclipse. And then beyond that, there's no shadow at all. It misses you completely. Mm -hmm. And that's just... Well, there's no it's word. It's just there. called sunlight. It's just called sunlight. <laughs> that's just sunlight. That's, that's just sunlight. That's right. So here we have the three parts of the shadow right. captured in this plaza. So, okay, so talk about... Folks who will be in the penumbra, what are some of the cities that will, will get some of this, but not all of it? Yeah, so, dude, this is the 21st century. People have cars, their trains, <laughs> planes, automobiles. Just get your ass to the center. <laughs> so, can I say that? Why are you going with that? Just, just, come on now. Come on. It's not, this is not 100 years ago where, right. you, where you, we got a horse and buggy That's or whatever. It. And there are a lot of big cities. Yeah in that path. Yeah, we, it, Dallas is the first big Dallas one. is a big one. Indianapolis. If you add up the population centers over which this eclipse will pass, mm -hmm. more people may witness this eclipse than have witnessed any eclipse in the history of civilization. Oh my gosh! Yes! That's crazy! This is the universe affecting wow. culture and civilization. Welcome to the universe. Wow. Beautiful. Okay. I love it. <laughs> How does this work exactly? All right, let, let me get a couple of orbs. Just be right back. Oh, oh, we're getting orbs. Ah, <laughs> all right, all right. Why don't you hold on to Earth for okay, a second? Okay, hold on to Earth. Okay. Okay. And I got the moon. Okay. So these are in correct size relative to each other. I didn't realize the moon was that big. We got a we got a bad moon oh, around yeah. the Earth. <laughs> we have one of the biggest moons in the solar system. Wow. Okay. So here's how it works. So Earth and the moon always have a shadow in mm -hmm. space. Right. Always. All, all the time. But the moon's orbit around the Earth is not always lined up with the sun. Okay. It's tipped. So here's the shadow. It misses the Earth. Sure. Okay? And it comes, could be down here. The shadow misses the Earth again. Mm -hmm. Every now and then, every couple of years, somewhere on Earth, the shadow will come right onto Earth's surface. Right here. The shadow in space. So then the sun... The wait, Earth wait, wait, where did you come from? Oh, wait, whoa, wait, whoa, whoa. Hey, 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 hey. Luster, I'm sorry. Hold. <laughs> I'm just passing by. Well, Luster, I always hold. wanted to be the sun. You know, it's so, it's so funny because your mama says you're so bright. That's why she calls you sun. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So, so no, he's where the sun should be. So, Thank okay, you. I'm the so sun. He came in just in the nick of time. Right. This is where it's going to happen. So, right? you're lit up on the, the moon is lit up on the other side. Uh huh. From Earth, you can't even see the moon because it's lit on the other side. Uh -huh. But you can see the sun. And as the moon orbits the Earth, boom, it blocks the sunlight. That's so right. Only one area will have total blackness. One area, and it moves across Earth's surface. So that's why the eclipse has a beginning and an end. Mm -hmm. But here's something else that's really cool. Okay. Okay? When that eclipse occurs, it's coming across North America. Right. Okay? So there we have it right there. Mm -hmm. Got North America. Yeah. So here's the moon coming yeah. around. It okay. blocks the sun. Right. You can't, your sun has to stay where it is. Stay, you don't, don't move. move. You don't move. We okay. move, you don't move. Okay. All right. All right. If you're going to be the sun, you got to like stationary. Ste <laughs> steady as a rock. You got okay, to follow well, instructions. That's why, that's why Lester's our anchor. Steady as a rock. <laughs> so the moon comes, now watch. Okay. The earth is also rotating. 
in the same direction oh. the moon is going around the mm -hmm. Earth. So we, 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 we experience more eclipse time than we otherwise would because we're moving with the shadow. Oh. But the shadow is going about 2,000 miles an hour. That's across. crazy. It's crazy fast. And Earth at this latitude is going about 800 miles an now, hour. Now, is it going to get dark, dark? I dark, mean, like, like dark, nighttime? Dark. When this covers it, when it's, it's night. The stars come out. The planets are in view. Animals start behaving weirdly, especially the humans. <laughs> Not everybody's going to get total blackness. No. If you're in the partial shadow, it's called the penumbra. So it'll get, it'll get like twilight? Yeah, no, no, not even that dark. 90, a little bit of sun is a lot of sun. Mm -hmm. I'll give you an example. You can do this math. Okay. Okay, you can check me on this if I you will. want. I absolutely. Okay. <laughs> Hold on, let me get my calculator. <laughs> if you I'm were, the sun, if, so I'm, I'm good. Yeah, yeah, he's got it all. <laughs> if you were 99% coverage, okay, if the moon covers 99% of the sun, so 1% sliver still remains, that's the light equivalent of 10 thousand full moons. Wow. wow. If you are outside of the shadow and you're looking at the sun, definitely you want to wear the glasses. If you're in the penumbra, yeah. you want to wear the glasses because the right. sun is still showing. Right. The moment the sun disappears, mm -hmm. the, the moon is completely covering it. And when it's completely covering, you take off the glasses and bask. That's the umbra. That, you are in the umbra and you, and you can bask in the glow, the soft glow of the solar corona. I that is the wait outer that. atmosphere of the sun that you would not normally see mm -hmm. because the sun itself is so bright. So if you can move a little bit into the totality, do it. Are there any <laughs> uh, astronomical events happening like uh, a comet? Or oh, yeah, yes. Oh, thank you. Thank you. So during totality, totality it's about four minutes, uh -huh. totality. That's how long it takes. When the sky darkens, you'll see stars, you'll see constellations that you would normally see six months away from now. You'll see autumn stars in the sky. Wow. Six months out of phase because they're blocked by sunlight these days. Okay. So you'll see the night sky, you'll see planets. And there's a comet that is visible in the sky right now. Where there's a comet that's colloquially known as the Devil's Comet. Ooh. But it is kind of photobombing the eclipse, mm -hmm. right? It's, it's, it will be manifest during deep eclipse when it's dark enough to be nighttime. Mm -hmm. Most people won't even notice. But if you know to look, it's there. It's a comet. Talk about taking the fun out of it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm plus. What the hell with it? Wait, 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 plus, Al, Al. Even though there are planets and comets and stars, there's an eclipse going on. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to be looking Go at the eclipse. the eclipse. I'm looking at the eclipse. That's what, that's what we're here for. Yes. So let me talk you through the final moments okay. of the partial phases. So the sun gets skinnier and skinnier and skinnier. And the crescent gets thinner and thinner. It starts getting eerily dark. Twilight descends upon the land. And in that last moment, sunlight only peers through the mountains and valleys of the surface of the moon. Ooh. And as it does that, there's something called Bailey's beads. Last just seconds, just seconds. And they're called beads because it's just sunlight peering through mountaintops. Wow. And there's a little bead of sunlight there and uh -huh. a little wider bead over there, depending on the, how the mountains are spread. And so it's just called Bailey's beads. It's a, it's a fun moment. And when the last bit of sun remains to be hidden. That's a beam of light, but you can still see the rest of the eclipse taking shape. Mm -hmm. It looks exactly like a diamond ring. Wow. And we call it a diamond ring effect. Then you descend into darkness. Those last few moments, it's seconds, seconds. You can take off your glasses and watch that happen. Wow. It's beautiful. And then the whole thing repeats in reverse, okay? You get the Bailey's beads, the diamond ring on the exit, you get this, the thin crescent, and then the moon moves off the surface of the sun. And put those glasses back on. Then you put the glasses back on. But imagine if the moon's orbit were in the plane of Earth's orbit around the sun. If that were the case, then every new moon, you'd have a total solar eclipse, and every full moon, you'd have a lunar eclipse. So it would happen every month. Wow. And people would just get bored by it. You might pause, oh, that's nice, but let's keep going, let's, mm -hmm. let's get a sandwich. So, so because 
things don't always align, it lends to the rarity of the event mm -hmm. and the specialness of the event, which is why countless millions of people assemble when there's an eclipse. People want to be together. To they want to be them. together and share a cosmic phenomenon together. So can I tell you a little, uh, my favorite sentence I ever composed? Sure. The spinning planets orbit the sun along their appointed paths like pirouetting dancers in a cosmic ballet choreographed by the forces of gravity. Wow. That is beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my man, it's okay. It's okay, we're gonna get through this. <laughs> He's mocking you. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.